Hello everyone. Uh, I am Raghavinder Singh. I am Physics Faculty at the School of Arts and Sciences. I am also uh, advisor for Physics Minor Program, and uh, today I'll talk about that. So, in terms of uh, in terms of eligibility, so this minor program is open for students from all majors except the Physics major student at the university. Uh, in terms of program structure, so the, the a student will have to complete a minimum of six courses uh, with the total credits of 18. Uh, so among out uh, these six courses, there are four minor core courses and then there are two elective courses. So these elective courses can be taken from elective course basket, which I will show you on later on. Since the sum of the physics courses are more than uh, are four credits, so this minor credits may go above uh, uh, 18 credits. So, but there will be uh, minimum six courses, and then uh, with a total of uh, minimum 18 credits. So. In terms of minor core courses, uh, there are four courses. Uh, first one is a classical mechanics, uh, another one is electromagnetic theory, quantum mechanics one, oscillation and waves. So all these are uh, all these courses are very interesting courses, uh, and you will learn a lot of new physics in the, uh, these courses. Uh, for example, in classical mechanics, you will learn about the Einstein theory of relativity, which explains how the length or time scale changes as the objects moves at a speed which is closer to the speed of light. Uh, similarly, in quantum mechanics, you will learn about, uh, uh, about, the, about the microscopic objects, the physics of microscopic objects and where our understanding of a classical world fails. Uh, in quantum mechanics, everything is measured in, in a very probabilistic manner, but yet it is the most accurate scientific uh, theory. So, uh, in an elective course, uh, course baskets, so we have a uh, courses from different areas of physics. For example, we have a course on intro, introductory astronomy and introductory astrophysics. So, if you are interested in uh, stars and uh, galaxy, you, you, you should take this course. Similarly, we have a course on atmospheric physics, uh, we have a course on uh, solid state physics, thermodynamics physics. Uh, if you are interested in computational side, then we have a elective course on uh, computational methods for physics. Uh, and then we also have a co advanced course on quantum mechanics and then we have a course on optics, we have a course on plasma physics as, the, as in, the, uh, in this uh, elective course uh, basket. So depending on the student uh, interest, uh, one can choose the course uh, from this basket. So why you should join this program? See, many students find physics very interesting during their school time. However, due to different reasons, they choose other subjects as their majors. Uh, so this program, uh, program provides an opportunity to build interest and expertise in physics. So also uh, the, this program will not only broaden the knowledge, but a student will gain uh, many additional skills, which includes the problem solving skills, the scientific uh, communication, which includes both writing and presentation and then uh, programming. So in addition, you will also get a, a chance to interact with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the physics faculty who are active researchers in their respective fields. So for example, uh, this is the, we have a uh, faculty who are working in uh, astronomy, we have a working in uh, cosmology, plasma physics, uh, atomic and molecular physics, uh, uh, then uh, gravi uh, gravitation and black holes. Uh, then we have a faculty who works in the area of complex system, biophysics, and then atmospheric physics. So our faculty uh, uh, are either are work in both ex experimental and theoretical areas. So at the university, uh, we have uh, physics research labs, so which includes the air, air, uh, air and climate research laboratory, which is led by Professor Aditya Vaishya. Uh, there is another lab, light uh, light matter interaction la laboratory, which is uh, led by me. Then we have a, a plasma physics laboratory, which is uh, led by Professor uh, Somin Ghosh. So in theory, uh, we have a astronomy and uh, astrophysics group, which is led by Professor Samya De Chaudhuri. Uh, and then we have also have an international center for space and uh, cosmology, uh, which is led by Professor Pankaj Joshi. And then there is a particle and cosmology group uh, where the professor uh, Raghavan Rangrajan and professor Gaurav Goswami are the group leaders. So overall, this is a must take program. So if you are interested to join this program or if you want to know more about this program, feel free to contact me if you have any 
question later to the program. Uh, so there are official email ID and my personal uh, email ID also mentioned here. So please, if you have any question later to uh, contact me. Thank you.